Hello. Good to see you. Right there, Revenants. Welcome back to Code Vein in the Road to 100. And for our flavor of destruction for today, we are going against the Blade Bearer and Cannoneer, obviously, because we are here in the Crypt Spire, trying to finish it out. And to get my screenshot here for the uh, for the thumbnail, so that was a lot of fun. And the cool thing is here that if you don't have Ice and Fire for each of the Blade Bearer and Cannoneer, you can just go for lightning and it does fairly decent overall it's nothing great nothing incredible but it is fairly decent so we will be uh, invincible to both fire and ice only if we have the antifreeze tonics running at the same time as everything else but uh, if we get focused and and we don't uh, have one of our gifts up and running we will be able to get ourselves focused uh, kind of at at will and we will have increased gift speed and we will have healing along the way ever so slightly so about about uh, nine percent of our health will get back uh, every time we get focused which is pretty decent overall and uh, what we have running here is very very fast casts uh, here you know we have five second cooldown we have a two second cooldown and we have a 15 second cooldown so every three lightning spikes we get another thunderbolt impact and every uh, about seven or eight lightning barrages we get another thunderbolt impact so um, it all works together here to have kind of very very fast running and if we don't have anything else to do then we can go for charge attacks on the black great sword here because the black great sword is incredible uh, we'll, we'll bring it along just for having some of that wonderful goodness av available to us to be able to get some icor back pretty reliably pretty quickly pretty easily overall so um, let's go ahead and get all things up and running here. Okay, we got a lot to lot to do to get up and running, but as you can see, our casts are very fast. We'll get uh, nope. Okay, let's go ahead and get focused here. And we do need some uh, eye core here. Okay. And that is how fast uh, Thunderbolt Impact can come out. Uh, absolutely crazy. Oops. Okay, that staggered her, so it's great. Okay. And that is where, uh, you know, our not having Elemental Wall available to us uh, definitely comes out to hurt. Okay. Uh, Oops. Okay, we're not uh, doing too well here. We're definitely, oh, we're definitely missing a bunch of things along the way. Okay, let's get focused. Okay, we will have to go for the um, the dodging attack here more than anything. Okay. Get elemental wall going. Let's get some eye core here. Can't see what's going on. Eva, we're dead. Oh, Eva got us. Okay, awesome. Let's get all our gifts going. Okay, and Eva should be okay. Oops. See, and as you can see there, we still take a little bit of damage from the uh, blade bear, just because of how uh, our ability goes here. And you can see that lightning does fairly decent uh, versus her. Um, it's nothing incredible, but it is possible to use uh, overall. Okay, now let's go for a charge attack here since why not? Ouch. Whoops. Okay, and here we go. That's a very, very good amount of, of, of uh, damage there that we're able to pull off. Okay, good. So she's gone now. Get this going. And now for the cannon air, uh, this will be pretty straightforward, um, all things considered. Okay. And unfortunately, um, we don't have our this speed going here. 
so we'll get uh, get active here. We'll get a little bit of icorn, and then we will have to use a couple of gifts here in order to get back up and running at full. There we go. Eva, you can just take a chill pill there for a second. Okay, we'll get some icorn here. Okay, get some more icorn. We'll stagger them up. Okay, so you can see the amount of uh, damage. Oh, ouch! The amount of damage that we're able to put out on this guy if we don't uh, continue to get hit uh, by all of his shenanigans here. Okay, good. And we'll go for another charge attack just to get a good amount of um, damage in there. Okay. Okay, let's get focused here if we can, because that will help us significantly with our gift speed. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, and one more whack. So you can see that the, the speed um, increases, they definitely do help. But it's nothing like it's super amazing, incredible, right? But uh, the fact that you have the ability to, to get that fast of casts off at any point in time is pretty incredible. Good work. Leave the rest to me. Thanks, Eva. Mito Leave, must the... Pay for his Leave the rest to you? This. Okay, so for Mito, uh, the thing you want to do with him is obviously you want to have very fast casts. So that is what we are going to do. We're going to be running uh, Queen's Red Cage, and we're going to have very very fast uh, casting while at the same time having very 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 good icor recovery here and, and so the thing is with him you want to be doing crush damage and so we are going to um whoop, we are going to be doing very very fast uh crush uh casts here oops oops ouch Okay, he just literally chopped my face off. Um, <laughs> that was not uh, what we were what was supposed to happen, obviously. But uh, you can see that if you hit him like once I or twice, uh, you get all of your Ikor back that you need because of the Brionic and the very, 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 very fast uh, consuming um, gifts here. These are very, very we fast. Five seconds, five it. seconds, and three seconds. So we can be doing Fire Lily basically all the time and doing Pierce and Crush to him and then having Last Bolt and Firestorm for Crush Gifts to stagger him uh, very, very, very often. And so, uh, because these are very fast casts as well, uh, we're able to really, really, really um, put a lot of damage on him very fast, very simply, and very easily. The problem comes into play when we are needing that i to happen at one time. But uh, the Brionic is, oh, whoops, the Brionic is definitely capable of uh, such, such things. Okay. Ouch. Here you go. Thank you. Okay. There we go. He's into Stagger. Okay. And uh, we'll go ahead and heal up here. Let's, let's get one more uh, attack there. Okay. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. Well, that was a another bad attempt. <laughs> so you can see that we're we're waiting around for our cooldowns quite a bit, um, just because of the fact that. You know, not everything is as fast as it could be, or should be. Um, but the reality is, is that it's it's still fast enough that uh, we're able to get him to phase transition very, very quickly, 
whereas, you know, other times you're, you can be sometimes struggling with getting in out of phase one, but because of the ability to stagger in phase one very, very fast, uh, we have our work cut out for us to actually do damage. So it's nice that we can get into that point where we actually do stagger, uh, you know, but it, uh, things like that happen. And it becomes uh, very, very hard. Ouch. Okay, we're, we're not getting our timings of our attacks off here <laughs> at the appropriate time. Because Mito just likes making liars out of Eva and I. But uh, we'll we'll make it through, no problem, because I believe in the power of speed. And uh, the nice thing is is that uh, being able to stagger him kind of uh, at will with with these gifts means that you have more openings and more windows of opportunity to actually get uh, damage out on him. But because your gifts are the thing that is doing the damage and the stagger all at the same time, it uh, kind of doesn't uh, help too much. Okay. 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 okay, that thing should have been hit by the uh, attack here. Okay, very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. We've got full IK. Okay, and go. Okay. Oh. Ouch. We're dead. Eva, thanks. Eva's probably gonna die. Oh, yep. Okay. Good. There we go. We got another stagger, which typically doesn't happen in phase two. And our uh, our gifts are very very slow now. And we have. Very much less, um, very much less Icar recovery. Let's go ahead and heal. Okay. Oh, unfortunate there. That, uh, did not have the dodge. Okay. There we go, more staggers. Okay. More stagger. Okay. Eva, thanks. More staggers. And there we go. Okay. Whew, that was uh, definitely harder than it should have been, or that I was intending it to be, but uh, the the power of stagger with Mito, you could see him staggering kind of all over the place at different points, and it's just because of the fact that you're doing so much crush damage in a very, very short amount of time, as well as having the Brionic um, along for the ride here. And you can see that uh, when you go for these uh, gift casts, uh, lightning charge becomes so fast you can barely handle uh, the amount of speed that it actually is. And if we go for another gift accelerator here, uh, it becomes uh, like so incredibly fast that uh, you, almost, you almost can't even see your character move uh, through the lightning animation. It's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a bit fast, <laughs> if I might say so myself. Uh, so getting through B Mito and the Blade Baron Cannoneer typically are pretty tough, and this was definitely pretty tough, but uh, for running kind of a Gifts hybrid here with, um, with what we have uh, for fast gift casts and things, uh, you know, this is definitely one of the better ways to go through staggering 
him and getting him taken care of in a quick manner. The other way you can do it is you can go with uh, White Mia and drop out, um, uh, you could, uh, sorry, I did that wrong, not White Mia, regular Mia. If you go for regular Mia and you drop out uh, Blood Sucking Blades because she provides that and they don't stack, you can go for Blood Awakening and you could do something um, like this. So, um, let me, let me see here. Uh, so if we get to, well, we'll, we'll, we'll get to this part uh, tomorrow, but uh, for I right now, uh, I want to show you kind of what this looks like with, uh, with um, Mia here. Okay, I, apparently I didn't parry. Okay, and let's go for Mia now, and I'll show you exactly what uh, this goes with here with uh, the increased gift speed and everything. Um, it goes a little bit like crazy uh, because of the amount of uh, damage that you can uh, recover and uh, everything just kind of evaporates in your path. So um, this would be a better way to go about instead of what we did with Mito to go with regular Mia here to go for uh, the increased gift speed and the reduced cost because now this would be 3 i -core, this would be 3 i -core, and this would be 3 i -core. so it only costs 9 instead of 15 so that's an incredible uh, cost reduction for the amount of damage that you're getting out so anyways thank you guys for watching and uh, thank you to everyone who comments and um, joins the channel and everything I very 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 much appreciate it and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow have a good one